Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. I am Viral Dodi and you're watching Viral Science and in this video I'll show you how to make an FPV drone. So this is a beginner's model FPV drone and that too in a budget. And this video is gonna be a one shot video where I'll be explaining you how to assemble this drone, what are components are required, how to program the flight controller that too with a smartphone and how to do the settings of a transmitter for this drone. So by watching this video till the end, you are gonna fly your FPV drone that too very smoothly. So let's get started. Make this. this video is sponsored by Ultium 365. It's a very good PCB designing tool and Octopart which is a very good and fast search engine for electronic components. So this is the first look of our FPV drone and now just have a look at the flight test of this drone. Ultium Designer, the world's most trusted PCB design system, offers engineers a unified environment that provides a comprehensive view of the entire PCB design process. This includes schematic, PCB layout, harness design and documentation, empowering engineers to access all the necessary tools in one place. Ultium 365 is transforming the electronic product design industry with its practical benefits and essential capabilities. With Ultium 365, you can effortlessly design, share and manufacture electronics with Ultium Designer without the need of any extra installations or configurations. Octopart is a free search engine for electronic parts and components. It offers listed inventory that showcases inventory levels and pricing information to a global audience of engineers, procurement professionals and designers seeking components for their projects. Octopart is relied on by 16 million users globally. It gives users the ability to compare bulk pricing and also the stock information. It provides the documentation of the parts including the data sheets and CAD models. You can try out all these services and I've shared a free trial link in the description down below so do check it out. So now let's begin the making of our drone. So first we'll need the frame. So I'm using this Q50 model frame and now we'll start assembling this frame. So I'm connecting this 8 standoffs to our frame and then we'll attach the 4 arms with the 4 screws in each. And after inserting the four screws, we'll connect the arm and we'll lock it off with the nut and also with this base plate. So the arm will be sandwiched between the two frame bodies. So now the basic frame is ready. So now this is a shock absorber. So we'll connect this rubber shock absorbers over here and then we'll connect it to the frame. So this will be the top plate but we're not going to screw in this top plate first. So now we'll be connecting the motors. So these are clockwise and counterclockwise motors which I'm using. So this is the motor direction rotations. So now we'll also fix the motors with the four screws provided. Make sure you tighten this screw enough, don't keep it loose. And this is the mini landing gear provided with the frame. So right now the frame is ready with the motors into it. So to control this drone, I'm using this PDB-F405 V3 flight controller. It comes with ESC, that is 50 amps ESC. And this is the main flight controller board. And this is the ESC. You can connect up to 8 motors into it. Next we have got some peripherals. So this is XT60 connector. Next we have got all the screws and nuts and capacitor to connect with the flight controller. And this is the connecting cable of ESC and flight controller. So this is the motor layout how to connect it with the ESC. 
So first we'll connect the capacitor to this light controller. Make sure you check the positive and negative sides. Now we'll connect this XT60 power cable. Be very careful while soldering this because we are using very high heat. Make sure you don't burn out the soldering pads. Now we'll be using these four long screws provided with the flight controller and we'll connect these screws to the frame. And first we'll connect the ESC on it. And now we'll start soldering the ESC pads. And over here we'll connect the motors. So all the three wires of the motor will be connected over here. So both the sides have six six pads for two motors. So in this way I've connected all the motors. So please try to make it clean. Now we'll connect this connector on the ESC. And after connecting this cable, you can uh, insert the flight control board. Make sure you note the arrow direction. That is the forward direction of the drone. And now connect the cable to the flight controller. So now after connecting everything you can lock off uh, this flight controller with the screws provided. So next we will be connecting the receiver cable. So I am using an IBUS receiver so this will be my circuit diagram. For SBUS receiver the circuit diagram will be different. I will share the link in the description down below so you can refer it. For IBUS you need to do the same connections. So I am using this FSI6X transmitter and the receiver. So this is my receiver. And on the IBUS connector I will connect the cable which we just soldered. Now I fix this receiver on the flight controller with the zip tie so it's locked in place. And now we can place the top plate of our frame. You can lock this top plate with the screws provided in the kit. So now I will insert this battery strap into the frame so it will get locked into the position and we can fix the battery right here. So now it's time to program our flight controller so connect it with the USB cable to your computer. So first we'll update the firmware. So for that you need to download the beta flight and go to update firmware. You can even skip this step. So first select the board that is PDB F405V3 and after that select the latest firmware version. Click on this full chip erase and you need to select the IBUS because we are using IBUS protocol and also select the D shot that is for ESC. Now click on load firmware and then click on flash firmware. Now you can connect the battery to your drone and rest of the programming can be done with the smartphone. So open the SpeedyB app in your smartphone and just click on this add button and you will find your flight controller right over here. I already have it so I will open it directly. So it's connecting. So after connecting you need to calibrate the accelerometer. So keep your drone into a proper zero position. Check the level sensor and now click on the calibrate accelerometer. After the calibration is done you can enter the export mode. So before this first we'll do the settings in the transmitter. So turn on your transmitter. So I'm using this AFHDS 2A model. So we'll go to OK and go to system settings and over here we'll select the model. So you can choose any of the model you have. So I'm using this model 01 that is empty. Next we'll go to model say like then we'll select the type as airplane or glider. Next we'll go to the RX setup 
and over here go to RF standard and we'll keep it to AFHDS 2A so I'm not going to change it to normal one because my transmitter supports the 2A version next we'll go to this option that is IBUS setup and here we'll keep it to channel 1 next we'll go to output mode and here we'll select the PWM IBUS output mode and after this we'll go back and we'll go to the last option that is aux switches and over here we'll turn on all the aux switches that is switch A, switch B, switch C, switch D and variable register A and B after doing the system settings we'll go to the function setups so over here we'll go to the aux channels and we'll select switch 5 switch a as channel 5 channel 6 as switch b channel 7 as switch c and channel 8 as switch d and 9 and 10 channel will be the variable register a and b so that's all for the transmitter settings and now we'll go to the speedy b app in the port section make sure you turn on all these settings which i have did and after doing all these settings you can click on save and reboot after every step you need to click on save and reboot or here you need to turn on rx lost and rx set and also the soft serial and make sure you turn off the air mode and again you can click on save and reboot so these are the battery settings i am using a 4s battery uh, so that's why i am setting the parameters according to it again we will click on save and you don't need to calibrate this fail safe mode not even PID tuning now we'll go to the receiver section so over here we'll select IBUS protocol and also RX serial and again after setting all these parameters you will click on save and reboot and after that you can see your transmitter should get connected with the phone so you can see the change in all the variables so next we'll set the arming switch of the drone so you can go to this mode section and over here for arm i am selecting aux 1 and you can set the parameters so that i have set 1750 to 2100 so to turn on and off next we'll set the 3 switch that is aux 3 and we'll set it to beeper then horizon and angle so you can see the parameters 900 to 1200 for the angle 1300 to 1700 for the horizon and 1800 to 2100 for the beeper so you can set the uh, yellow bar according to it so now i'm connecting this uh, tape to this motor to check the directions so now we'll go to the motor section and we'll click on motor directions and over here by clicking motor one it will start rotating it so make sure you check the direction of the motor if you want to reverse any motor you can just click on the forward or the reverse button on the app it will reverse the rotation of the motor on the app you can see the direction of the motor that is to be rotated so make sure you keep it to the same direction and after completing it you can click on finish button you can even cross check it once again now click on finish now you can select on reorder motors you can click on start so you need to click the button which motor is rotating so now the second motor now the third motor and now fourth motor now you can click on save and you don't need to do any further settings in the motor section you can just click on save and reboot and that's all for the programming of this drone now we'll connect the propellers so you can see the direction of the propellers So this is the clockwise direction this is anti-clockwise and again the last one will be the clockwise so you can fix it with the screws provided with the motor the silver ones are for the anti-clockwise and black are for the clockwise and you can tighten it with the pliers now i'm using this orange 1300 mah 100c lipo battery that is a 4s battery 
and also uh, keeping a sponge between the frame and the battery to observe the shock and also I'm going to connect a camera so I have this SJ6 legend camera you can also even connect a GoPro if you have you can even connect some FPV cameras and view the FPV vision with the goggles so the total weight of my FPV drone is 648 grams with the camera and the drone is ready to take off its first flight Let's test it out. So friends, I hope you like this FPV drone and I have made it easier for you to make it. So please do hit that like button and also consider subscribing to my channel if you are new here and if you want to see more such videos. So till then, have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.